In this video, we're going to learn how to send query parameters, or what are sometimes called get parameters, as part of an HTTP request done with the libcurl library in C. So in this example code here, we have a standard usage of the libcurl library's easy interface to send an HTTP request. So here we've included the libcurl library. This is going to store the curl handle. This is going to store the result of calling the curl easy perform function. We call curl easy init to begin the easy interface session and to give us the curl handle. Then we call curl easy set opt to set the request to occur to google.com. Then here we call curl easy perform to perform the request. And if there's no error, then we call curl easy cleanup to clean up the curl easy interface session. So right now, if we save this program and compile it and then run it, we'll make a request to google.com and we'll get back the response output to standard output. Now, if we want to include a query parameter with this request, we can put it right in the URL string here. So we could have after google.com slash search, and then we'll have the query parameter after question mark. Q is equal to cats. So this is going to send the key value pair Q is equal to cats along with this request. And Google is set up to send search results back when we make a request with this format. So we'll save this and compile a program and run it. And we'll put the results to a file called out.txt. If we check out out.txt, we'll see the file contains cat search results. So if we search for cats, we'll find some cat search results in this file now. And you can see them here. So what we wanna do is send query parameters along with our request. And ultimately, we'll have to manually do that by including them in our URL string here. If we have multiple query parameters, they're going to be separated by and characters. So we could have here and, and then let's say key two is equal to value two. But we do need to make sure the keys and values are URL encoded. So our keys and values can only include certain characters. So the characters uppercase A to uppercase Z and lowercase A to lowercase Z and zero to nine, as well as dash underscore period and this tilde character here are all unreserved characters. But characters like question mark and and, they have a special meaning in URLs. So if we want to send a string as a value with characters like space or question mark, what we have to do is URL encode the string. That means replacing these reserved characters with these percent encoded characters. So for example, percent becomes percent to five. And let's say and becomes percent to six and the space character becomes percent to zero. There is a function in the libcurl library which can help us to URL encode our strings. The function is called curl underscore easy underscore escape. Let's use it to help us build a proper URL string. The first thing we'll do is declare a car array to store the finished URL string. We'll have here car URL and we'll have 2048. Then we'll declare and initialize two car arrays to store values for our query parameters. So we'll have car value one is equal to the string, a string with spaces. We'll also declare and initialize the car array value two with the string special characters and we'll have percent and dollar sign and let's say 
star. So the idea is these values could be coming from something like a database or user input. And these values may contain characters like space or dollar sign, which are reserved characters. We want to URL encode these strings using the curl easy escape function. So here we'll have curl easy escape and we pass the function our curl handle we also pass it the string that we want to URL encode. So we'll pass it value one. Now for the third argument, we could supply the length of the string if we have it. If we don't, we can just supply zero and the curl easy escape function is going to use the string length function, strlen, from the string.h library to find the string length. So the curl easy escape function is going to dynamically allocate space for a URL encoded version of our string, it's going to return a pointer to that string. So we'll have here car star v1 safe to assign the return value to this variable. This will allow us to access that string. We'll do the same thing with value two. So we'll have here car star v2 safe is equal to curl easy escape and we'll pass a curl and value two and zero. Now, what we should do is output both v1 safe and v2 safe after doing this so we can see the effect. So here we'll have printf and we'll have v1 safe colon percent s to output a string followed by a new line and we'll output v1 safe. Then again, we'll do the same thing with v2 safe. So we'll have printf and then v2 safe colon and then percent s to output a string backslash n for a new line and we'll output v2 safe. Then just momentarily, let's comment out the rest of the code in this function. So we'll comment with this and everything down to the end of the function. Then we'll save our program and compile it and run it. And we can see here v1 safe and v2 safe. So notice how the spaces in value one have been replaced with percent 20. And these special characters in value two have been replaced as well. So the strings have been made URL safe, what we call URL encoded. So next, Let's use these strings to build our URL where we're going to send the request. So what we'll have is a call to sprintf. sprintf can be used to build a string using a format string. So we'll have here sprintf and we'll pass the function URL as the first argument to store the string we build into the URL car array. Then we'll have the format string with HTTP colon slash slash. For this request, we're going to make a request to a server running on my local machine. So we'll have localhost and then slash o.php. Then we'll have our query parameters. So we'll have question mark and then key one is equal to percent s and key two is equal to percent s. So this is a format string. So what we'll do is put strings here and here. And the strings we're going to put there are v1 safe and v2 safe. So we'll have v1 safe and v2 safe. So here we've ensured the values in our query parameters are going to be URL encoded by calling curl easy escape. We could apply the same process to our keys if the keys might not be URL encoded, if we don't. We don't need to bother with this if we're sure the keys don't contain any reserved characters. So right now, this is going to make a request to a script called o.php. o.php is just going to output whatever query parameters it gets. That's all it does, is just outputs those parameters. So over here, Let's actually use our URL car right now. So we'll call curl easy setup 
in this time we'll pass it URL. So here we'll have URL instead of the string. Now curl easy escape is going to return a pointer to dynamically allocated memory. We have to call curl underscore free to free that memory. So down here, we'll have a call to curl free with v1 safe as an argument and curl free with v2 safe as an argument to ensure that dynamically allocated memory is freed. So we'll save this and then compile a program and try it out. And here we can see the response from our PHP script. We can see that key one and value one and key two and value two were sent successfully. And the special characters and spaces are present in these strings. So the values were URL encoded successfully. Now I should mention the curl easy escape function is going to return null if it fails. So we could check for that as part of error handling. So this is how we can send query parameters with an HTTP request using the libcurl library in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.